Brian Walsh was a giant of Australian television and sadly we report his death this morning. He was the heart of Foxtel for 28 years, his impressive career spanning almost five decades. We paid tribute to him this morning. To do so, joining me live now is the Foxtel CEO, Patrick Delaney. Patrick, Hi, thanks so much for your time. Uh, it is fitting that we talk about his legacy today. But first of all, you've spoken to his family. How are they? Well, I, I think that, uh, like, um, any situation where, where someone passes and it was unexpected, uh, I think they're largely in shock. Uh, he has three sisters, uh, they're all close. Um, and they're sort of trying to come to grips with, with his passing like we all are too. Yeah, we certainly yeah. are. It was such a shock uh, to hear the news this morning. And I was talking with Pete about just what it was like to be in a room with Brian Walsh. Yeah. He, he didn't look through you. There's plenty of people that do that, but he really listened and he cared so much about talent and the products that he was producing. He did, totally. And, and one of the amazing things about Brian being the ultimate PR people, for those at home that, that it's not necessarily a name you would know, Brian Walsh. He was the man in the black suit that walked around the edge of the room that worried about everyone else, starting out at 2SM. Uh, working through to the glory days of Channel 10. You know, he was a very, very young man as the head of publicity at 10. When 10 was number one in the ratings, he famously did the stunt moving uh, um, neighbours from Channel 7. He somehow conned the seven gatemen to allow a truck through with a house on it. When they worked out it wasn't something with them and got kicked out, he had a camera ready to go, so the truck was leaving with a house on it from, from uh, Channel 7, he said, Neighbours is coming to 10. And through that period, you know, Kylie Minogue, Jason Donovan, and Guy Pearce, in the early days, then moving on to Foxtel, he was the first executive director of television at Foxtel, mm -hmm. launching careers like Hugh Jackman's, but being involved in every decision along the way for 27 years. And going back to your question, you know, he always cared about everyone other than himself. If you tried to divert the conversation back, how are you? It got quickly put back to yourself. A consummate, underst he understood the way the media worked in terms of messaging. He was behind simply the best with the NRL. Um, and, you know, during the whole of the Foxtel period and, and more recently, all of his work in drama, producing some amazing Australian dramas. And if you go to a drama event, the, the, the plaudits and the respect that the Brian Walsh name has in young careers, current careers, uh, an extraordinary thing. Yeah, we've seen that this morning yeah. from, from Guy Pearce. We've heard it from the current arts minister, uh, Tony Burke. Yeah. The contribution he has made to the industry, and you're right, many people won't know his name. That's the way he liked it. But it what is. he produced and what he gave to us culturally is just incredible. And I would say, uh, Patrick, his instincts nothing I've ever seen, just to know what would work. Yeah, no, totally. And, and even when he was outside of the PR job here at Foxtel, we always stayed... I mean, one of my best meetings every two weeks was with Walshie, you know, to talk about the dramas we were doing, but he would always have a very good instinct on what we should do publicly. But, you know, the big legacy for Brian's, not necessarily the shows, I think it's the relationships, um, the mentoring he's done. I mean, I hear you oh, speak absolutely. about him, right? Me. Uh, I mean, I got to know him as a little boy at Channel 10 when my mother was on air doing a show like you, right? Uh, and then to end up being his boss at Foxtel and having that relationship. But those things, that's his legacy. The talent and the way of working and the whole ethos, the work ethic that he had. Uh, extraordinary things. So he leaves a pretty big hole here at Foxtel. He will. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was told the news last night and... I had a dream that maybe it was all wrong and unfortunately woke up, you know, one of those dreams and you go, but he's gone and, and we are all going to miss him deeply mm. uh, here at Foxtel. But it's not just Foxtel, you know. It, it is in the publicity world, in the show business world, uh, News Corporation. He was close to all of us. Um, I've had messages from all of the other media CEOs um, with condolences from their media companies. This guy's legacy, the Brian Walsh legacy, lives as a very big one on the Australian media industry. It certainly does. My one saving grace this morning when I heard of this news is that he lived a full life. It's too short 
but it was certainly full. Well, he should have asked permission <laughs> before he checked out because I would have said, no, don't be silly, get back to work. There's lots more in it. No, but he would have come willingly. We'll remember all of the good times and, the, and that legacy. We do. Patrick, thanks so much. Not at all.